Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today I'm going to be talking more about our zero waste strategy. As a business owner, many are faced with a byproduct. Whether you have found an eco-friendly way of disposing of it, or it's going to the dump, regardless, it's expensive. With our zero waste system, we do good to ourselves and our environment. By no means do we pretend to have it down perfectly, but we do the best that we can. So without further ado, this is our strategy. We sell the cutoffs from the edger as kindling for customers looking for a cheaper option. This way they can cut it down themselves to the length of their desire. We also can use these to make them into stickers for our lumber. The slabs that come off the mill were our biggest problem. We produced so much slabs that it was hard to find an effective way to dispose of them. We ended up investing in a chipper that can shave down the slab wood for animal bedding. On some of our log sites that are particularly wet, we will lay down slab wood and stone over it so that the machines don't sink. This way, when we are done harvesting, the slab wood will go back to the earth and it will eventually look like we were never there. We also use it as fuel for our charcoal burner. Another byproduct are the cutoffs from the Bell's firewood processor. On the end of every log run through, there is a miscellaneous leftover that isn't long enough to be a piece of firewood. We use the timber wolf to split them down into chunks that we can use for charcoal. Because making charcoal is more of a hobby than a big part of our business, we usually end up giving it away to customers but it is still an effective way to prevent waste and it puts a smile on our customers' faces. Also, our family loves to barbecue, so we end up using it too. Here are the chunks after they're split. This is of course before they go into the charcoal burner. Some of these pieces look pretty large right now, but after they're turned into charcoal, they will break down into smaller pieces. Unlike charcoal, compost is a big part of our business. To make good compost, you must have 65 to 70 percent carbon. And the best source of carbon is sawdust. We have used sawdust from our mill as our main source of carbon and it has worked excellently for years. 28% is nitrogen. Grass clippings and leaves are a first-rate and eco-friendly product. And last but not least, 2% is biochar and potash. Biochar is essential for cleansing the soil and increasing water retention, while potash contains soluble potassium and increases the pH. At the bottom of every batch of charcoal, we have smaller bits of charcoal that we grind down to make biochar. Along with that, we make our own potash. There's one more byproduct of the Bell's firewood processor, and that is the shavings. It turns out that these shavings are excellent for animal bedding. We have customers who own horses and love our product. But don't worry, we make sure to leave out any walnut shavings as this can be toxic for the animals. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this one every week.